it's your girl Ari Shantae and I'm back with another video. So today, by the time you already know what it is and what it is, today I'm going to be doing the story time on how I almost got, me and my roommates almost got a good job. So if y'all don't know, I attend the, the Perry View a &M University. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Let's get into the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at M I S S A U R I E. And yeah, let's get right into this motherfucking video. So I'ma use names because I don't want y'all to know who I'm talking about. We lived in a four bedroom like apartment slash dorm or whatever you want to call it. So it was me, Naisha. Y'all probably done seen her in most of my vlogs. Weirdo and Sausage Girl. Now I call one of them Weirdo because the bitch is weird. And I call the other one Sausage Girl because I was cooking sausage one day and this whole, if y'all know in the faces, nigga, the motherfucking smoke alarms are hella sensitive for no reason. So one day I was cooking sausage and the mind you i had just put the sausage i had just put the sausage on the motherfucking um the motherfucking um stove and the smoke detector just start just started going off and this whole go run in the kitchen and start touching my motherfucking sausage like moving it so i'm assuming yeah your sausage was burning bitch how my sausage burning and i just put them holes on the motherfucking stove how they running so if you know what the phases are, sometimes the phases can get hella boring. Like, I'm talking about like boring as fuck. Like, ain't nobody doing shit, ain't nobody doing no kickback, nothing. Like, it be boring. So one day me and my roommates, we was like, damn, like we bored as fuck. Like, bro, we should, you know, throw a little kickback. So we like, all right, babe, we finna throw a kickback. So we like, damn, we need to go get some liquor, some some drink like some juice like we need to get set up so the first time we threw a kickback nigga it went smooth like 12 came but it was one of the cool like campus security or whatever for cops campus cops whatever the fuck you want to call it it was one of them like they was cool he was cool so he was like if they get a call again and somebody else come back then we're gonna be in trouble but he was like y'all good just you know don't be doing no dumb shit so we like that so that kickback was a success, like everybody came, the muscle was packed out. But this time, it was like way more like people, like it was hella people. So we like, okay, man, we need to make sure everything's straight. We we contact this DJ. Um, and we like, okay, you DJ for our kickback. Mind you, if y'all know what the the fucking phases look like bro the apartments are very much very much um little so we rearranged the whole living room to where it's like more space module we had like a long ass couch and like a little like one little little chair i don't know how to explain it but it's like a couch and we had like a little coffee table like a uh yeah like a coffee table so we put the coffee table up against the window and we put the couch up against the wall, away from the door. So, we like, all right, babe, we, got, we went to go get some, um, we had motherfuckers drinking Four Locos. Now, if y'all know what a Four Loco is, bro, Four Locos are fucking disgusting. Four Locos, like, that, sh that shit is cheap. Like, it, it's like crack in a, in a bottle, not a bottle, a can. Crack in a can. And, and motherfuckers were straight drinking that shit, like, it was good as fuck, like the best shit they ever had. We mixed that shit with Kool-Aid and fucking brisk pink lemonade. And my was like, this shit good, this shit good. And I'm just like, no. Mind you, I don't even drink. But I just, mm -mm, hell no, fuck no. So we, we had the little drink set up. We had like four little, um, like y'all know when y'all go to like, family reunion or some shit and it's like the little jugs and you just press it and the yeah you get what i'm saying so we had them in the kitchen we had sent out like a flyer it was like oh 
kick back at 821 started i think we people said it was gonna start at nine or it was gonna start at ten one of them it was like ten until we say go home awesome <laughs> awesome shit and so people start getting there hella early so i'm like all right big whatever so i'm regulating the door because i need to see who the fuck coming in and out this bitch like if i don't fuck with you bitch you're not getting in you most definitely not getting in so me and Aisha, we working the we working the door, working the door. We at the door, you know, regulating shit. Our other two roommates, they doing whatever the fuck they doing. I guess handing out drinks and shit. So the DJ, she she doing her shit, she doing her shit. Everybody, you know, we lit. It's packed like motherfucking sardines in that bitch. Like I'm talking about packed as fuck. So we in that motherfucker, we vibing or whatever, you know. Cool, cool, you know, with the little vibing. So I'm looking outside the door because I'm standing up on the table. The table is right by the window in the door. So I'm standing up on the table and I'm opening up the door like as people coming in and out. Like I'm opening open up opening up the door. So I look out and it's hella niggas on the stairs. It's hella niggas on the side. It's hella niggas downstairs on the side of the building. I'm like, damn, niggas dead ass trying to get me this little ass, little ass kickback. I'm like, damn, this shit, this shit low key not, I wouldn't say getting out of control, but it was like hella motherfuckers there, like hella motherfuckers there trying to get me this little bitty ass kickback. So I'm like, okay. I'm, you know my head getting big. I'm like, all right, we got this. We throwing this lit ass motherfucking kickback. Everybody in that great auntie trying to get me this bitch. So I come outside. Now you should send them outside. So I guess talking to everybody, telling people like, oh, some of y'all not gonna be able to get in because it's hella packed. So I come outside and I'm I'm talking to some people that I know, like some of my friends or whatever that had came by or whatever. So I'm talking to them. Next thing you know, it's this this tall ass nigga walking up to our door. And so the door right here, this me and then this Naisha. So he come up to the door, he knocking on the door. We looking at him like, nigga, why are you knocking on the door? Just go in, like, what the fuck? So Nisha was like, what you knock for? This is my shit. You could go you could go ahead and go in, but it ain't a lot of space in there. Or you said something like this. And so he like, oh, I'm a CA. So I'm like, I'm looking like, huh? Girl, what the fuck is he talking about? So she was like, oh, oh, what's up? He like, um, I I got a complaint. Um, y'all need to uh tell everybody to come out. Y'all need to shut this down. So I'm looking at him like, I'm being cool about it. He was like, hey. The most we gonna get is a fine, like, I ain't tripping. Like, it's whatever, fine, whatever. So, he like, yeah, you need to tell everybody to come out. So, I'm like, um, you could tell everybody to come out because if I say something, they're not gonna listen. You see how little I am. They not finna, they're not finna fucking, um, listen to me. So, I was like, you can tell everybody, y'all. You could, you know, raise your voice. Since you this tall ass nigga, you could raise your voice. And tell these people to get out. Period. So he starts saying, everybody need to get out, everybody need to get out. So everybody starts flooding out. People that was in the staircase, on the side of the building, on the other side of the building, everybody started like running like fucking roaches when you cut on the motherfucking lights. Everybody started coming out, coming out, coming out. And it get dead empty in the, in the apartment, like dead empty. So we go in the apartment or whatever. He was like, yo, um, we got a complaint, a noise complaint, woo the woo, saying all this other stuff. So then another dude come in with him and then two two other girls come in. So two of my roommates drunk, drunk as fuck. So weirdo and Sasha girl drunk as fuck. Now you she was kind of tipsy, I don't know, I can't remember, but I didn't drink, I don't drink, so I was sober, like I was chilling. So we all in the um we all in an apartment and he like yeah so um I'm gonna have to find y'all because y'all had this big ass kickback like we done had a call from like the head the I guess the 
the person that's over the CAs or I don't know what the fuck they call. I forgot what they call. All I was thinking about at the time was damn, we finna have to pay some money. So sausage girl fled the scene. This bitch ran. She was gone. And I was so motherfucking mad because bitch, at the end of the day, they're gonna know that you stay here. And then on top of that, bitch, I don't give a fuck how drunk you is, bitch. Why the fuck are you running to go to a whole nother kickback when we gotta clean all this shit up? And, and bitch, like, what was the point? Like, you're still getting fined just like all of us. So, what was your point in leaving? So, weirdo, she sitting there talking. She was like, okay, so what are we getting fined for? This man said, mind you, we didn't have an attitude with this man at all. We was calm about it because we already knew what the consequences was if we was to throw a kickback we already knew so it was no point of us like trying to get an attitude because that was just gonna make it worse right so he was like oh yeah so we're gonna have to find you for a uh, noise complaint um illegal party possession of alcohol and loud music or some something something like that yeah loud music or something to that extent so that total came up to a motherfucking 400 and I think it was 475 or 425 one of them. Oh. It was something any one of five. And so I'm like, what? For what? 400 and what? 400 and what? So you know, you I go to an HBCU dub, PB is an HBCU, but like, you know, niggas. You know, we could negotiate this, get this motherfucking price down. Like, can you just give us a warning? Like, we was literally arguing this, not arguing him down, but like trying to come down off the price. Like, he literally was trying to give us the 425 or 400, whatever, some fine for having that kickback. And so, the other two CAs, the girls, it was two CAs, two, C, two girl CAs, and they was like, but I mean, like y'all did have a kickback. It it was a lot of people. Oh, the other fee was um, it was visitation, not loud music. It was visitation because apparently we wasn't supposed to have visitation, which I don't understand how when whatever it 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 is what it is. So she was like, well, yeah, y'all did have a lot of people. Y'all did have this and that. Whoop the whoop. I'm just like, I'm, at this point, I'm over it because when I heard the 400, I was like, yo, one, my mama finna be mad. Two, nigga, that's a lot of money. Like, so I don't give a fuck what y'all got to say. Just go ahead and give me my motherfucking fee. Go ahead and put that shit on my uh, account or whatever the fuck you want to call it and just go about y'all day because they kept talking, just talking, talking, talking. And then, like, at this point, I was over it. So weirdo, she steady arguing them down. Like she damn near crying on some shit. Cause she like, I'm broke. Oh, we got $7 to my name. Whoop the whoop. I can't afford this. Like y'all know how hard it is. Whoop the whoop. And like the two CA, the two girl CS was like, yeah, we understand, but y'all didn't know the consequences. And then the the first CA, the boy CA that, that originally came and knocked on our door, he was like, I mean, Y'all knew what it was, whoop the whoop. Like, mind you, we're gonna get sick. So, yeah, so we just sitting there, and then they was like, we eventually they was like, okay, we just gonna find y'all 150 for, I think, a noise complaint or something like that. So he was like, all right, bet, 150, that's cool. Mind y'all, as we having this conversation with these four CAs, Weirdo and Sausage Girl homegirls was sitting outside our, like, door waiting on us because i guess they stuff like they purses and stuff was in our um what well, was in one of their rooms so as they walking out as the cas are walking out i guess he felt like that more people was trying to come into our apartment to like start the party again but that wasn't the case whatever so after that, we just sit in there talking about the whole situation and whatnot. And I'm just irritated because my whole deal was why the fuck did weirdo, I mean not weirdo, sausage girl fucking leave? 
that was my whole thing. Like, I didn't give a fuck about the fine because it was 150 okay? I had 150 like I said. At the end of the day, I'm going to have to pay it. It is what it is. So, I left. I walked out and I just took a walk just to, like, clear my head because I was getting very much irritated, very much wanted to punch something. So, I left. So, I'm just walking around on my phone. My job, it's like the party didn't even last damn near an hour. It was like either 9 or it was 10 o'clock. And it hit like 11. And we got, the CAs came raiding our shit. So, nigga, it wasn't even a good hour. I'm pretty sure the party started at 10. But it, it wasn't even a good hour in. So, it was like 11 o'clock. We were just irritated. Like, we hella irritated. So, me and I used to take a walk. No, me and Aisha and Rita took a walk. And we was talking to some of the people that we knew that was outside. And it was like, yeah, um, he just came up talking about the CA. We're going to call him Ezel. We're going to call him Ezel. So, we was like, they was like, yeah, Ezel just said that they just find you or something like that. And I'm like, bro, why is he telling everybody our business? Like, fuck out of here. You as a CA is supposed to keep all that shit confidential. Like, you're not supposed to go around saying, yeah, I found this person. I found this. Yeah, whoop the whoop, whoop the whoop. He was like, yeah. We was talking to somebody and they was like, yeah. Ezel said that we that he just found y'all for like 400. We said 400? This nigga said he just was going to find us for 150. So what is he talking about 400 for? He was like, mm, that's just what he told us. And he was laughing about it. And I was like, yeah, I don't fucking like that. Because first of all, you're a bitch. You're picking on females. Like, come on now. Because he had an attitude from the jump. When we wasn't even on that wheel. So, I was just confused on why the fuck he going around telling people that. We go back to the house. We cleaning up. Whoop the whoop. Go to sleep. Wake up. We get an email for 400 and some dollars. We get an email saying basically, oh, you've been fined for all the stuff that I listed which was noise, violation of visitation, uh, illegal party, and um, possession of alcohol. So I'm like, what the fuck? What you mean? What do you mean 400? When you just said 150. 150. Where did you get 400 from 150? But okay. So... I'm, I'm sick as fuck. Like, we sick. Then it said, we had like, we this is an evic eviction notice. Um, You have like 72 hours to evacuate the premises. So we all looking at this email like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And mind you, this was on a, I think this was on a Thursday. This wasn't even on a Friday because Sausage Girl had to leave. Friday. So after we had cleaned all that, after all this stuff happened, Sasha's girl ended up leaving. And it was me, Naisha, and Weirdo. We sitting there and we like, bro, no way. We just got this fucking email. Like, no way. So we trying to figure out, we, try, we got up early, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. We got up early. I think it was either that Saturday or it was that Monday. We got up early and we went to go talk to the people and they wasn't there. And they was like, the CS in the front was like, yeah, when you have a, a fee that high, you automatically get an eviction notice. I said, huh? What? I don't get it. Like, I never heard no shit like that. Like, you automatically get an eviction notice? Like, what are you talking about? So it was like, yeah, you automatically get an eviction notice, um, but you can appeal the eviction. So we ended up appealing it. And we had to wait the whole weekend. I, I can't remember if it was on a Thursday or a Friday. We had to wait till like Monday to talk to like the like the head of like CAs and stuff like that. So we were sitting in the house the whole weekend like sick. I'm talking about we was literally sitting in the living room all weekend just like waiting for time to go by. Like we didn't want to do shit that weekend. Like we didn't do shit. We literally just sit, eat. And just talk about like damn like this fucked up like literally we said it about a thousand times like damn what the fuck like this shit crazy 
during the weekend we found hella shit on Ezel, like hella shit. Like he was saying how he was he was gonna take shots with his roommates. Mind you, we're not supposed to have alcohol on campus at all whatsoever. Mind you, we have a group chat. A group me group chat. So it's like a, a group me group chat for like PB's 24 and like the phases. So he will be in the phases group chat or the PB24 group chat just saying like oh yeah, shots, shots, we taking shots to every player with the wool. Um he was just encouraging fights because somebody had fought like in the beginning of the semester. Somebody had fought on the on the court. He was encouraging that. He was just being like, you supposed to be a CA, right? You're not supposed to be doing none of these things. So we had screenshots to top screenshots to top screenshots. Monday rolls around and I'm like, we was like, we gotta get up hella early to go talk to the people because they like to leave early from day jobs, which I don't understand because nigga, what if somebody needs you? Yeah, so I was like, fuck it, I'm skipping class. Like, I'm not going to class. Like, I need to figure this shit out because fuck class. I ain't going to be going to class if I ain't got nowhere to stay. So, I need to figure out what the fuck is going on. So, I got to the front and I think they either said they wasn't there or we had to go to somebody else and so we had to go to I think like the phase three and five which is another like apartment complex like this on like campus or whatever and so we had to go talk to them people or well, this lady and she was like basically like well I mean it's not much that we can do because y'all did have a lot of people we talked to the lady she was like well yeah like it's not much we can really do because Y'all did violate a lot of the stuff that was in our lease with the wolf. And we just sitting there like, damn, like, what the, f like, at this point, we was like, oh, please. Like, we didn't know, like, we didn't know what else to do. Like, we was like, fuck, like, at this point, if we get evicted, nigga, we just get evicted. Like, we just gonna, st we still gonna have to pay that, that fee, but we, we ain't gonna have nowhere to stay. Then we all going back home. Cause, where am I gonna stay? We told her about the screenshots. She was like, um, she was gonna show them to the lady that was above her that sent out our eviction notice. We just had to wait. It was like a waiting game, basically. We literally had to wait to hear back from some people. I think it was like around like either Tuesday or Wednesday, this big heavy set man basically cleared like our fines or whatever. Not cleared it, but like he, he bumped it back down to 150. And we had a deferred eviction. Now, a deferred eviction is when you had got evicted, but y'all, they accepted our appeal. But if we have any more complaints, like noise complaints, if we have another kickback, if we have any type of complaint, any CA come our shit, we automatically get evicted no matter what. Like, you can't say nothing to save yourself at that point. We was just like, yeah, nah, like, we not doing nothing. Can't nobody come up in this bitch. Like, we're done. Like, we, we was like, fuck no, we not having it again at all. So, yeah. That's tough. So, yeah, that's how I almost got evicted. I hope, I hope I explained it as best as I can. Because when it comes to telling stories, I'm not so good. I sit here and be like, um, um, yeah, so, um, um. And I'm pretty sure I did that throughout this whole motherfucking video. But, Y'all got the picture. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell if y'all wanna, you know, get notified when I post another video. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at M I S S A U R I E. Make sure y'all check out my pictures. I be trying to be active on there, you know, get cute and shit. We'll see y'all in the next motherfucking video.